Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brian. I'm here with Israel and Gedia. Uh, we're here at Brick by Brick, where they are playing uh, a great show with Roddy Christ and an all-star lineup. Yeah. Under our Black Cult North American tour. Yeah. Uh, probably one of the most anticipated uh, Black Cult tours of the year. Uh, so we're really, really happy to, to have you guys here. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. Thanks for having me. Uh, so first question, real quick. Uh, the current album you guys have out, Mirage, uh, was included in many of the top 10 uh, for 2022, including ours. We included in our top 10. Thank you. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about the creative process before uh, behind the album and how you approach, approached this, if it was a little different than the previous album, um, which was uh, Limbo? Well, long story short, we um, all the things we had to, we, we wanted to do with Limbo, we couldn't because we were in the midst of pandemic. So we did all the crazy visuals work that we wanted to do with that album. We couldn't tour. And at some point when we thought we were able to tour Europe uh, in the beginning of 2021, uh, the tour got uh, postponed again. And I guess, uh, well, at some point we just got stuck being, well, kind of locked at home again. And uh, I guess that fury and frustration of not being able to just carry on and go to, to the road where which is where we belong, uh, kind of cemented and uh, created the foundation to create something new. So it, that's, that's where you get probably some of the most aggressive, uh, aggressive songs like Solve It. Uh, it's, it was one of the first uh, we, we wrote. And uh, I guess it just bleeds into that. Uh, and conceptual-wise, it's a continuation from where Limbo left off with the, the Vortex Society concept, just in another perspective of the... Of the well, of the of the atmosphere we we've been developing since the the first album. Yeah. Um, and you, speaking of vocals, uh, one thing that really caught me with Garage was the uh, the vocal delivery, uh, the projection uh, with a lot of pain, a lot of agony, a lot of anger. Um, I'm kind of curious to hear where the inspiration comes from. And you talked a little bit about you know that that frustration of, of being cooped up and being locked up. Um, and where do you get that inspiration to to execute that type of delivery? What do you need to offer? <laughs> Well, it's, we've always been a very emotional band. We mostly on stage, uh, rather than just the album. That's, that's why we love to tour that much because it's, it's where we kind of, uh, close the circle for everything we do. It's, it's about sharing that agony that, uh, well, th the way we feel the songs, the, the way you, you see us perform, it's exactly how we feel the songs. We don't, uh, rehearse the way we, we perform. It's, it's just feeling the moment to, to its full extent. Uh, so I guess it's it's based on how we are as human beings in, in Europe and in Portugal and how we see society and how we uh, thrive to be part of it, even though we will never be. It's, it's, it's that concept of being alone in, in this massive city where you have thousands of people next to you and you're still alone and depressed, something that we, we live uh, even more today after after this post pandemic world where it is just it created this massive well, it, we already have this, had this gap between uh well society and human beings but with I, I guess with this pandemic one thing that we really were left uh, left uh, with is a massive uh, a bigger gap between personalities and people just having uh a proper conversation and everything everything is so fucking digital these days and it just became even more uh connected that it, i guess it all just comes comes down to it this this uh uh feeling and desire to connect with something uh with the audience with the, the best shows for us are the ones that are packed or in small venues where we can actually touch the the, the front you know, connection yeah, it's it's important for us. I mean, there's there's nothing like like a, a a small club show or something like that. For example, what we'll have today, where you can just feel the energy with with people. It's it's just the best shows for us. More than a festival with thousands of people. It's it's we it always has that cap. Of course, it's amazing. Uh, we're fortunately doing uh, a bunch of those now, but I still feel like small club shows are the thing, <laughs> the way to go. Yeah, for sure. Uh. Well, you guys are from Portugal. Uh, does that, does having the common language with Brazil, has that brought you, brought you guys like a bigger following there? We, for, uh, well, surprisingly, yeah, we just, we just did this Latin America run uh, two months ago. And, uh, for example, the Sao Paulo show was 
fucking wild. Probably one of the best we ever did. People were completely into it and uh, singing songs like something as a small band. It's it's always striking to see for the first time where people just actually know what you're doing and what you're singing about. Uh, so so yeah, I, I think I think there was this warm welcoming in uh, in uh, in in Brazil uh, because of course the language, uh, because of course our fellow countryman Moonspell and uh it's uh, I think I think I think it is yeah it's it's it, it was really good to see that we have uh a nice following growing there yeah uh how's the tour so far been going this one great uh I believe it's the best one we did so far uh we're doing great in numbers uh the venues are quite packed even yesterday in Mesa everybody was telling that it's not normal to have close to 500 people on a Monday in this venue. And so it's, it's really good. It's, it's an amazing package. It, it feels, it, it felt weird when, when, uh, when we knew what was the package. And, but then if you think of it, it's, it's just a perfect combination between all bands and uh, everybody's amazing. Everybody works super, super hard to make it all work. And we just love to be amongst talented, but also very hard working people. But that's, that's how we learn. Yeah, by the by the way, tonight's I think supposed to be sold out. It's not sold out, but there's just a handful of tickets left, so it'll be packed. Awesome. Which is rare also to have that here on a Tuesday in San Diego. Yeah. Um you guys incorporate a lot of diverse uh visual aesthetics to your shows. Uh beginning with the uh, the mass usage with the makeup. Uh, uh you kinda let your, your imagery and the music itself do the talking. Um as far as imagery goes, how is that uh I mean, how, how, how important is that to you? The image as as important as the music it's uh it's an extent to 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 what we do there's i don't think there's getia without the the visuals without the performance without the photos without the videos it's everything just when when we finish an album uh for me it's not done it's just like 20% is done now we need to visualize this we need to to, to create this well uh, i'll call it uh a bad word, but a package where everything just fits together, and we can continue this vision as most as we can uh, with, with of course, the photos, the videos, the the small other things we do, the merchandise. Everything needs to fit that same concept, uh, because I feel like our audience wants that. We want that as as also music fans. For me, it's it's not just the music; it's about the artistic freedom of the artist to do whatever he wants. Even if it doesn't fit exactly, in this case, on a black metal genre, we do a lot of things that don't fit in the black metal genre. Uh, so I guess it's just having the nice, the nicest references you, you can to make your own stuff and uh, just stick with it and uh, sacrifice most of what you have at home in order to make this happen. Sure. And I think that that's what makes the, the band such a special uh, band, that it doesn't stick to the traditional mores of black metal that you do guys you guys do draw outside the lines and you kind of make it your own with the whole like you said the cold packets the imagery the 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 way that you uh do the art for your albums uh your merch i mean uh, it, it would be nice if most bands actually you know cared a little more about what they're doing with their art what they're doing their imagery to kind of make that 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 fan give that fan the whole experience and not just is it is important yeah it is I I don't know how to also have this band without caring for all of that. Of course, it's it's fucking chaotic to have all of these things at once. But it we have fun with it. We have fun creating the designs. We have fun uh, creating all of these weird ass ideas that we have. Even in Limbo, we 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 were stuck and we just decided to go to a analog studio and just re-record the album and record and film ourselves doing it. It's it's fun and uh, it helps you be become a better musician and connect even more to what you do. I mean, it's it's about uh, as much as you as you play these songs, you will learn something uh, with yourself and how these songs actually connect with you. Because sometimes you create the music, but it's only when you perform them like a hundred times that sometimes even for us we will start to understand a bit more of what we were going through on that specific moment of the creation. So it's, uh, that's, that's, that's why we love to tour as most as we can, because we're still learning how to feel about some songs in, in Limbo, for example, and uh, 
and doing the same with Mirage because we have to combine both since we had this pandemic. So it's uh, it's a learning curve even after the album is done. Uh, well, thank you so much for doing this interview. I'm sure. Hope for, hope for your, the rest of the tour goes great. And uh, yeah, best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Wonder Boy, can't wait for you to get out a little later. Yeah. Thanks, Doc.